Yeah. We're at ASR. We're in uh, the firework booth. Going to talk to Tree Rana, legend. How you doing? Jim, good. How is everything going here today? It's great. It's yeah. great. It's, uh, it's a clean little setup here. It's uh, definitely a, a worthy cause, considering there's not many brands out there that can represent an eco-friendly board. So right. Right. we feel uh, fortunate that we're here. It's, it's kind of good. Nice. Nice. Talk a little bit about firework. I know that's my board. So yeah. Case, you know well, that. we've got some tweakers riding our boards now. We got some followers. Let's say that. Um, the products. Uh, the products. A pretty significant difference between anything in the marketplace. Polyurethane boards have always historically been great for the first couple of months. There's right. flex, there's pop, there's liveliness. But after a certain amount of time, they fatigue and and uh, fragileness is the, the usual death of a polyurethane surfboard. Um, so what we try to do is create a surfboard that has basically the same similarities as a polyurethane, meaning there's flotation and there's flex. And we take we took flex probably to the next level because we got rid of the center stringer, which is an I beam, and we frame the board with a uh, balsa. And as you can see within the uh, cutaway, there's basically a quarter inch of balsa that frames the whole entire board from tip to tail. And it also has a, a tail block which supports it. So what we're doing is getting somewhat of a trampoline effect or something similar to a snowboard where you, the more you put into it, the more you get out of it. And uh, that's pretty much the guidelines for the surfboards. On top of that, we're building boards that are really unique in the sense that we have a one pound EPS core and we're, fr we're framing it, sandwich construction, a high density skin on both sides. So historically surfboards have always had a solid blank and then they've done a light lamination to try to create flex and liveliness and lightness. We've done it opposite. We've done a really light core yeah. And we frame the outside, so all the all the integrities on the outside where the majority of the wear and tear is, and that's been a big advantage for us as far as converting people over and just basically giving them an opportunity to to see what we're up to. And is this the rapid fire? This is the rapid fire. This is a unique product because everything we've done, we strive to basically get a <clears throat> firewire flex pattern associated with all the boards that we build. The balsa construction has been proven. Taj Burrows is all he rides. Even though we feed him boards on a regular basis for our D reasons, he goes to back to the balsa and the future shapes construction. So everything we're working for is really going towards finding that flex. Um, the rapid fire is unique because we've done a few things different. We've made it production friendly, which is a great thing um, because we're able to retail it at a reasonable price. Uh, we started with a two pound EPS core. We've implemented carbon rods through the deck and by doing that, <clears throat> We rely on a good flex pattern. From there, we vacuum bag a high density skin, which is literally bamboo. So, if you take the bamboo and you see what how it reacts to the vacuum bag process and the resin, there's a single four ounce underneath this bamboo. And with the amount of pressure associated with the vacuum bag, you can see the resin seeping through. So the bamboo is actually acting like a cloth, so to speak. There's a lot of integrity and there's a lot of dampening going on. So the combination of the carbon rods, a higher density foam, and the bamboo has given us this sensation that we're seeking. The boards are really unique, really consistent, and very durable. So that's kind of like our whole angle with, uh, with Firewire. And talk about Mark on the cover he got. Uh, what was it, Entrepreneur Magazine? Oh, yeah, that was huge. That yeah. was uh, on the cover with Firewire. Mark Price is he what, president? Yeah, he's the CEO of uh, Firewire. CEO we got Fire. the cover of Entrepreneur Magazine. All right, we'll see you at SEMA. Right on, Thanks a lot. I'm going to spray you over there. Spray me. On Firewire. <laughs> That's what we like to do.